Good morning, it's June 23rd. My name is Galit and this is the Galactic News. So my schedule is still erratic and um, I'm packing, moving a house. Uh, I was traveling, so many things are happening. So I wasn't posting every day, but here I am today. So let's do that. Let's see what the energy of the day is. And today something really important is happening. Venus just transited into Gemini. So there is a shift in vibe, shift in relatedness. Let's talk about that. And the other thing I want to tell you is that I have created a video for the new moon that's coming up in Cancer on the 28th and I will post it on Saturday. So watch for that. It's packed with information for this uh, new moon. So yeah, let's start with today's chart and see what's going on as usual. I always start with the moon. Where is that moon? Here it is. It's uh, just moved into Taurus. How appropriate for the moon to be in Taurus in, on the day that Venus, the ruler of Taurus, is moving into Gemini. The sky always talks the same conversation from different angles. No matter how we want to look at it, there is a message. And we can see that message uh, mirroring from many different angles. So this is one of the ways to see a message. Moon in Taurus is all about, we shifted from the go, do, 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 uh, Aries energy that we had for a couple of days. And now we're settling down into more relaxed energy, more taking care of ourselves, more practical, more slow, right? The Taurus moon likes to go slower, but more in touch with the physical body, which is really important. Go for a massage, do something nice, go to nature, connect with your bodies. Uh, walk barefoot, maybe. It's the summer, go to the beach and just try it out. Um, so the ruler, Venus, she moved into Gemini and she'll spend around a month in Gemini. Now, Venus in Gemini, she is very talkative. She wants information. She wants to be social. It's the summertime in the Northern Hemisphere and Venus wants to go out and play and have a good time. So do that. It's time to connect with people. It's time to be sociable. And I want to take this one uh, level deeper because why do we become social? What, what's so important about sociability? So first of all, there is that thing about Venus that she wants to have relationships, right? This life in a human form, we are doing that dance with relationship. We are trying out all kinds of relationships with people and we learn a lot about ourselves doing that. Every relationship we have teaches us something about ourself. And the deeper level of that, besides teaching us something about how we relate, it's teaching us what we believe about ourselves, what we believe about our self-worth, what we believe, how we love ourselves, and what we believe that we are worth um, and, and what do we expect the universe to give us in return? Because Venus is that part of us that relates, but also is taking care of our values. And the values are the core beliefs that we have, that we have acquired through a lifetime, right? And it, they keep changing. Uh, beliefs keep changing all the time. So any relationship you have is a reflection of the relationship you have with yourself. So Venus in Gemini is a really good opportunity to acquire more knowledge and to be really curious about what kind of reflections are you getting out there when you relate to others? What kind of reflections are you getting? And let's not forget that the sun, where's the sun? A two degrees Cancer uh, just moved into Cancer. And it's all about going back and relating to the family. So what kind of relationships do you have with your family? Are they good relationship? Are they supporting you? Is there something you would like to shift, to change? We keep shifting and changing all the time. This is the evolutionary process. This is our nature. So if there are things that you would like to shift and see a better reflection, you start with yourself. Venus and Gemini will help you to get all the needed information. So just get curious about your kind of relationship. If something doesn't work, learn to speak about it, learn to talk about it, learn to find the information to help you shift that which does not work for you because you can always shift, you can always change, but you have to first be aware of that, then speak it in order to uh, process it 
and then get the, the needed information. And by speaking, you also converse with people that will give you the needed information sometimes. So it all is working together. So maybe my message for you today and for that uh, Venus in Gemini is get curious, uh, search for knowledge, get in touch with yourself, listen to your inner chatter. What are you telling yourself? What is your story? And if that story needs to change, go ahead. You have a whole month to change that and create a new base of relatedness. So that's it for today. I hope you liked it. Enjoy the day and become the best version of yourself today and every day. I will see you next time.